Well, it's nice to see that they have their table nicely set. No, that's not true. They got blood and garbage all over the place. I mean, they're cannibals. That doesn't mean they have to live like savages. Do the dishes once in a while. Hello, I'm Damien. This is Hard West, and if you are sitting comfortably, then we'll begin. After a couple of close calls and a really boneheaded move at the end of the last battle, in that nightmarish realm, we made it out alive, or I suppose undead. So let's see what uh, is up next for us. The stranger somehow stopped you halfway to death after that fateful night. The news spread quickly. Masked man, your nemesis, went into hiding. Apparently that's actually his given name, is Masked Man, and I killed 14 people. Which is pretty good, I think. And stopping me halfway to death, I guess, is why only half my face is fucked up. After the fray, the stranger approached you again. He said he knew the Masked Man's location, but telling you that would spoil the sportsmanship of the hunt. You didn't pay it much mind. You knew that if you took enough money from him, he'd find you. Then, the stranger made an ominous request. He said that if you took 100 lives, he would reward you handsomely. Ooh. The stranger asked if you'd met any of your enemy's enemies. Said he'd heard of an old man named Murray. Seems he ran the gin mill and had crossed the masked man somehow. Tracking him down might put you closer to your target. Interesting. So I need to ravage $65,000 worth of the masked man's properties, go to the gin mill, and talk to Murray about masked man, and kill 100 people for an infernal reward. That sounds hellishly good. Fate Trader. So we still have an overworld map, but I don't think I'll be doing any mining this time, right? Let's see what we got. Uh, let's go to the gin mill. Might as well get a move on, right? Murray Spirit Company. You arrived at Old Man Murray's gin mill to find the place ruined, deserted, and covered in crates. The upper floor office remained suspended, but looked like it would fall apart any second. You figured you could grab one thing and get out, but should you get the money from the safe or the curious glass item on the desk? Well, in the first scenario, I didn't have much use for money. I ended up with more than I could spend, so I'm more interested in the glass item. As you grabbed the item from the desk, the floor lurched and a low rumble heralded the office's imminent demise. You leaped from the room as it collapsed into rubble on the floor below. You inspected the loot. Turned out to be just a strange old monocle. That's disappointing. Very disappointing. What do I have in my inventory? Ability cards. Jack of Diamond with Shadow Self. Regenerate when not in direct sunlight. Very powerful in nightmares. Yes, that's the one that I used. I've got the Deadly Derringer. My poor dead Francine's... Florence. My poor dead Florence's gun. And I got a six shooter, which is the same that I have equipped. I don't know why I didn't get to carry any of my equipment over. Oh, this monocle actually does stuff. Plus 10 aim, plus four sight. Might as well, right? Let's see what cards I got. I didn't carry my cards over either. They just totally ripped us off changing scenarios here. So what do we have? 10 of clubs with vengeance. Survive a fatal shot, and if you kill your killer, you'll make it. Otherwise, you'll die. I have the Jack of Diamonds equipped, but it doesn't show. Does that mean I have two of them? It should show my head icon over there. Huh. And the Ten of Spades with the Ricochet ability. That would have come in handy in that last round. My Shredded Hand reduces my gun skills. But eventually I'm sure I will be stronger for the experience. Anyways, I'm guessing this is my counter of how many people I killed. Let's try and get that up to 100, hopefully. That's a big old pumpkin or something like that. Ask the locals about Old Man Murray. 
Jeremiah Benjamin Baker sold all kinds of cures, balms, and ointments. If their smell was to be believed, most of them were a variation on bottled urine. Bottle of liquor, eagle elixir, healing elixir. <laughs> Either a healing tonic or a bottle of horse piss. Restores full health. Well, I can tell you from experience that horse piss does not heal you. Revealer. Interesting. Improves sight to the cost of maximum HP. I'm not much of a potions guy in general in games. So, we'll see. There's a gunsmith shop where I can ask. Is that Indian camp? Let's go talk to the gunsmith first. You entered the shop a dozen of suspicious eyes burning holes in you. A giant of a man presented himself as Mr. Dorius, the proprietor. He wanted you to know that you were personally invited to shop in his place. I will quickly peruse his wares. Oh, I don't have any money to buy anything. Never mind. Ooh, I do have 75 bucks. What's a volcano pistol? Damage five. I did like my elephant rifle last time, didn't I? Good long range attack. What was this one? The quarter pounder pistol. It's only got one shot, but it's pretty strong. I'm actually going to pick up an elephant rifle. There we go. And I'm going to make sure to equip it. That shotgun came in handy, but... Um, I'd rather have the rifle. All right, gunsmith, let's see what you got to say. Oh, I could ask him about shotguns. Let's see what he has to say. Dorius said he could install an additional barrel on your shotgun for a price. I wish he had said that before. I totally would have taken that. Bummer, only 20 bucks. Mr. Dorius asked if you needed anything else. The old gunsmith explained that if there was one thing that bothered the masked man, it was losing money. He'd started getting suspicious, Murray was skimming money. And when the masked man got suspicious, he didn't waste any time wondering what to do. Mr. Dorius asked if you needed anything else, and I didn't right now, although I'll come back for that shotgun thing. Hopefully make a few bucks somewhere. I guess the Indian camp's the only other place I gotta go. Let's go talk to them about old man Murray. The natives lived in a small, infertile area that had been given to them by the occupying forces. They were accustomed to trading with pale faces, though most not as pale as you. I wonder what healing I can seek. The natives could put any gunslinger back together with their rituals and herbal medicine, if the price was right. Uh, and that would be 50 bucks. Probably shouldn't have bought that gun. Oh well, maybe that would heal my shredded hand. The natives knew many old men, but no Murrays. They said the only white folk around these parts were the masked man's thugs who poached from the nearby forest. The natives lived in a small, infertile area that had been... Oh, wait, I read that already. Well, if I get a bottle of liquor, I can share it, but that's probably more than five bucks. The poaching grounds. The forests in Indian country country teemed with game more than the natives could ever catch let alone eat which made them easy pickings for poachers the ground was riddled with their traps on a lucky day you could disarm them and steal the bait on a bad day you'd catch a broken finger a gashed hand or worse maybe it would be simpler just to stake out the traps and wait for the poachers to show nothing like stealing from a thief yeah let's ambush them better chance of killing more dudes that way finally the poachers showed. You took them out like clockwork, except for one. Oh, it doesn't lead to a battle. At first, he refused to talk, but some creative pain mismanagement took care of that. Once he knew you were serious, he told you Old Man Murray was alive, but he had been captured. He said the masked man had left him with the rednecks living at Rancho Rojo, then paused for effect. Seeing your puzzled face, the poacher added solemnly, They eat people! Old Man Murray was taken to Cannibal Farm. You killed, burned. You could save him. 
Maybe that tough old bird could prove to be useful. Shut up, Death. I'm talking here. And even if you failed, you'd still put a dent in the masked man's What did business. I just say? I'm reading this. What a dick. You killed, burned, and terrorized, but you still couldn't find much information about the masked man. Seems they still feared him more than you. Time to fix that. As you traveled down a long and lonesome road, a trail of smoking ruins in your wake, an old man stepped onto the road ahead. He knew you were going after the masked man. He said that masked man had taken something he was after. He didn't approve of your methods, but he appreciated your effectiveness. He wanted to join you. He looks like a friendly sort of fellow, and I could use a buddy. Although I gotta get all the kills. I'm up to 19 for the, uh, you know, cutscene murder there. You'd cern loose. You'd cern. Let me try this again. Again. You'd soon learn the old man was the meanest cuss this region had ever seen. Until you showed up, that is. Sweet. Now, where's this cannibal farm? Beautiful. Water tower? What's at the water tower? Probably water. The water tower was the linchpin of Cannibal Farm. You could have spilled the water to damage the masked man's property, or you... Yes. Oops. Spilling some water. Or you could have poisoned the water to weaken the cannibals. I uh, apparently can't poison it without a poison vial. This is probably worth finding out. If I can get $5 poison, I seriously doubt it. Although... What does he have to say about the Cannibal Farm? The shopkeeper revealed the man-eaters sometimes came to him looking for meat tenderizers and exotic herbs. If you wanted, he could send a letter of introduction telling them you were one of them. That way, you could approach them without raising the alarm. Every favor has a price, though. He'd only do it if you helped him test his new potion. <laughs> this sounds like a bad idea, but very interesting. A nauseating wave rushed through your body. Your face felt hot, and your entire body cramped up, and you fell to the ground in agony. When it subsided, he apologized profusely, insisting you keep the rest as a make good. He'd sent the letter immediately. I wonder if that's a poison. Hey, it is. Well, this all worked out very well. Sort of. Kind of. In the strictest sense. Let's go to the water tower and poison them. You dropped the poison into the water, then found a good spot to observe the results. You saw a couple of buckets being carried back to Cannibal Farm. A little while later, you heard screaming. Then you noticed black smoke rising from the farm. Were they burning bodies or roasting them? I mean, I know they're cannibals, but really, if you think about it, they should probably not eat the poisoned um, cannibals. And I got five more kills because of that, so this is working out nice. Oh, apparently $25,000 worth of damage. Neat. Yeah, rewards up to 12,000. This is all working out great. Hey, who wants to go kill some cannibals? The farm looked in... in, in I'm having a lot of trouble reading today. The farm looked innocent enough, but you knew better than to trust appearances. The cannibals and heavy sentries... Ha, these, the cannibals had heavy sentries at the entrances. You hadn't seen a trace of Murray yet. Chances are they had him locked away somewhere. Let's enter the farm. And they won't expect trouble. All right, what do you have? Brandon Scott. The Douglas Duster Special. Interesting. It's a nice single shot. A chain rifle. Wow. That sounds very nice. I wonder... That's probably going to be his main gun. Five damage is good, but one ammunition is shite, so... He's going to get a shotgun instead. And uh, I've got no items to give him, and I'm not giving him any cards because I'm using them all for myself because I'm a selfish son of a bitch like that. So here we go. Let's proceed to combat. The cannibals had old man Murray. Whether he lived or not, they would die. Time was of the essence. Murray was bleeding and would be served for dinner by sundown. 
You could either kill the cannibals before he died, or free him and patch him up enough to survive the fight. Also, a part of you was curious what the fuss about human flesh was anyway. Yeah, I don't know if I'm that curious, necessarily. Murray's only got three health. Get in there and patch him up. Uh, how many turns? Ten turns left. I could just kill everyone. What are the chances of me killing everyone in ten turns, though? This is a setup phase. I, uh, and I can feast on the meat to regain strength. Well, who wants to be a cannibal? I need to kill a hundred for my infernal reward, so... I probably want a lot more kills with Warren than with, um... What's his pickle over there? What's this star? Oh, that's the meat. Hmm. Interesting. I've only got four health. Did I always only have four health? Huh. He can't move very much at all, can he? Oh, there's a guy over there. Oh, he's up above. Um, so this implies that going under him is totally going to trigger his freaking out. So we're going to try and go around. I guess I gotta try out this meat. Alright, it looks really delicious, I gotta say. Human flesh tasted a bit like buffalo jerky. Well, shit. Not half bad. Now I kinda wanna try some in real life. Strangely. You felt empowered by this casually heinous act. Well, naturally. I mean, it's... But no sense letting good meat go to waste. Exactly. Let's be pragmatic about it. Maybe next time you're trying to figure out the incredibly high funeral costs for somebody you love, think about how they'd feel about uh, giving back in the form of a little long pig. I think he's going to go in there, get up behind that guy, get ready to kill him. I'm going to go for Murray. I've only got five turns left. Um... Yeah. Let's not let him die. Oh, there's a bad guy over there. Uh, I'm sure that combat will start as soon as I open this door up. Okay, so what do we got? We got a couple in here. We got a couple over there. Man, there's a lot of guys. There's no way I could kill all those guys within ten turns. At least not on this difficulty level. Crazy. Okay, you are going to go upstairs here. Where was that guy? Well, he was right by the window. Oh, it's a lady. Hello, lady cannibal. Well, she's hurting bad. Because of the poison, maybe? What if these guys are hurting? Interesting, that guy's doing alright. Uh, I've got no reason, really, to subdue her. So I'm just going to stand there, I guess. Okay. Let's get up here. And, um, get in there, I guess. Why put it off? Oh, I can't go in. I've got to go up and actually open the door. Because it's going to trigger this guy going nuts. Cool. Well, that means that I should probably come up here and shoot this guy before opening the door. Right? Except his turn's done. So I don't want to do that. Because if I start attacking now, it's going to be trouble. Next turn. All right, scope shot or shoot with that one. Let's switch to my six shooter. 
79% chance. I'm sure that this will work out fine. Oh, yeah. 79% my ass. Damn it. This better fucking hit. Good. Good. Now I'm feeling lucky. A bunch of guys in the house can be coming running out for me now. Come, gonna come. Oh, that is so not what I wanted to do. I thought I was going inside this building to get cover. Okay. This is off to a pretty bad start. Let's see if I can kill this guy. 39%. What about with this one? There we go. Looking pretty good so far. Hide behind a tree. Apple tree. I guess the um it took too long. And Murray bled out. The demise of this place would sweeten the loss, however. Well, that sucks. That seriously sucks. I really wanted to handle that better. But my philosophy is play it where it lies. So, this is what I gotta deal with now. Let's see if we can shoot this apple tree. Anyways, I imagine that they take their, uh, their corpses and they stick them on the table like a pig with an apple in its mouth. That's how I'd do it. If I, if I were a cannibal, and let's just, I'm probably not a cannibal, for all you know. Probably. No matter how delicious it looks. What do I got over here? That guy probably, yeah, that guy would probably shoot me. I wonder if I can, he's still got cover from his angle. Scope shot would kill him from here. So let's do it. Cannibal long shot was killed. Not long enough. All right. Uh, let's see what's around here. Okay, we got a couple of guys to go after. That gun's out of ammo. This one is most certainly not. 79%. <laughs> Let's see how well that works out this time. All of these cannibals are really fucking lucky. Eating human makes you really lucky. I can't believe it. I mean... I. If it makes you lucky to carry around a rabbit's foot, maybe carrying a human's foot in your belt makes you, like, five times luckier? What are you thinking there, farm boy? Yeah. I gotta get back in the shadows, actually. Anyways, first I'm gonna kill this guy, because now my 79 should hit him, because he can't be that fucking lucky, can he? No! He cannot. Hmm. So that guy down there is dead. There's a guy up there. Where can I go for full cover? Nowhere, apparently. I gotta move up into a half cover. So be it. Half cover it is. Do I have a shot at this guy? I've got a really shitty shot at him, but I can start pegging away at his luck, so let's do that. Oh, I hit him for one. All right, guy behind there, guy 
there. I want to get in this house. I don't want to go around. I'm going to go around this side to get in the house. So let's go and see. Oops. See if there's anybody around this side of the house. Oh, there's two guys in there. Shit. I could have just shot at them. In fact, that's probably the better way to do it. do nothing or and come around here and get some cover and see what's going on well it's nice to see that they have their table nicely set no that's not true they got blood and garbage all over the place I mean they're cannibals that doesn't mean they have to live like savages do the dishes once in a while <sighs> come on guys have a little self respect here Okay, I can only see two guys. That guy might die, except that 77% chance is probably gonna fucking miss again. Good. He didn't die. I wasn't even paying attention to the amount of health he had because I'm so used to killing them in one shot. Okay. Brilliant. Um, in that case, see if we can hit him with a cone. Apparently I can't hit the guy that's over there it says hit all the characters within the cone yeah that's gotta hit him or at least try 44 probably won't do it let's see what happens didn't hit him Warren, Warren, where are you going? I know it didn't rhyme. It wasn't supposed to be a catchy jingle. I'm just trying to ask Warren where he's going. But it turns out he's a video game character and doesn't have any sentience of his own yet. So I'm going to decide that he goes over here and shoots a dude. Because come on. Die, please. Thank you. Kill, 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 kill. Now, Brandon Scott. You know, his little icon there doesn't look anything like his picture. Kind of looks like a dapper gentleman down there. He looks like a fucking madman over here. Absolutely ridiculous. So all of our guys, how many are left? Is at least the one up here. I think there was one on the second floor. The guy around the back is probably still there somewhere, so I don't want to just rush out to the side of the house. Well, maybe I do want to go to the edge and see if there's anybody there. Hey, let's do that. Nope. Waste of time. Um, maybe I do want to go around the house. Uh, let's reload the shotgun this round, though. Make sure that we're ready for whatsoever comes next. Where was that other guy? Still inside? Okay, it appears that we're okay I don't see anything so let's go to this side of the window yeah hey good good okay I can't do enough damage with that gun I can with this gun but I don't have enough ammo on the other hand 100% chance to get him don't have enough action points. Shit. Alright, after the first scenario, I'm seriously used to killing guys pretty easily. So, um, this could end poorly, couldn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I can shoot him, and I'm not going to be able to kill him. And I don't have the bullets to do it over here. He doesn't know I'm here, but he's going to know right away. Uh, 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 and there's no critical hits or anything like that that might save me so I am going to wuss out and not do it and then over on this side oh man his move is just shit let's do this in two hops though just in case it reveals anyone okay 
He's gonna stand by the door, get ready to go in and shoot. Oh, what's that? Somebody moving around upstairs, click. Okay, so this guy has moved over here. I don't think that bucket helps me here. And the other guy is moving around upstairs. So I think there's only the two guys left. If I moved here, I probably wouldn't be able to see him. What about you? What's your damage? Yes, I know the shotgun's good. Hmm. All right, well, let's see what happens here. Yeah, four damage, 51% chance. Ooh, that's crap. 56% chance on the shotgun, but it'll kill him if it hits. Got him. Cannibal, long shot. Alright, although I should be trying to get all the kills with Warren, I think. Uh, there's no cover there. What does the upstairs look like? I'm not going to get any cover. Oh, I can kind of get cover, except that he's over there. You can either come out there or around there. So I'm going to stay at the bottom of the stairs. And get prepared to run up. Oh, shit! Sally Mae was around the corner there. Where'd the upstairs guy go? I lost sight of him. Or audio, I guess. Okay, does she see me? She doesn't see me, so presumably I can come right up to the window and shoot her kind of point blank. Hopefully. Fuck. 100% chance for her, 77% chance for that guy. At least I've got half cover. And a lot of luck. This should be okay. She's going down. There's three remaining. I was not aware. I know there's at least one guy upstairs. Maybe there's two, and there's a one guy here now. All right. Brandon Scott. Uh, you are actually just going to stand there and reload your gun. Provide somebody to look at. Because I do want to get those kills with Warren. Nice try. I'm far too lucky for that. How is that cover? Man, that is some bullshit. Look at that. I'm looking right at him. He's got no cover. Uh. Alright, I'm going upstairs. I can't go upstairs with enough moves to do anything. I'm going to the bottom of the stairs. And, uh, I can't shoot him. Can I ricochet? Oh, I should have noticed that. What does this take? Oh, can I still not see that? Man. That sucks. I was hoping to ricochet off of some things. Do some cool shooting. Alright, in that case... I'm going to reload my elephant gun so that I have it at the ready just in case something happens with it. And Brandon Scott. Brandon Scott, Brandon Scott, Brandon Scott. What are you going to do? Simply shoot at this guy? Uh, chip away at him? Yes. Get less lucky, buddy. He's up behind the outhouse. Now, let's see what there is to see upstairs. I knew he was over here before, and now I have no idea where he is, so let's go up here. Knock over this table. There he is. Hey there, buddy. Nice to meet you. Now, apparently there's two guys left. I wonder where the other one is. 
Okay, you cannot kill yet. Well, apparently there's full cover behind this tree. And you have no cover here. But I only got a 53% chance to hit. But that's enough. Gunslinger, you are down. Where is the last remaining cannibal? Not counting me, even though technically Warren has become a cannibal now. There. Hey, buddy. The got something for you. Spit the dust. A pity you couldn't save Murray. A little bit of a pity. But the masked man's business had been badly damaged. And in time, you would claim him as well. Spoilers, death. I feel like he just ruined that entire plot line, knowing that I'm going to kill the masked man. Well, shit. I'm so furious that I am done. I am finished with this. Until next time, take care. Have a good night.